and I'm coming through the x-ray machine drinking my guava flavored Rubicon and they're telling man I gotta put my juice in the bin and they look at this bin full of juice and water and all that and I thought I bet they jacking people's drinks and putting all this shit in a fucking vat somewhere turning that shit into alcohol or something and running the planes with it because I can't see any other reason why you got a jack man's drink off him unless you want man to buy more shit on the other side of your gate you get in that departure lounge you suddenly realize that most of the UK still living in 1999 do you get me they were looking like Pat Butcher even the men looking like Pat Butcher slightly overweight grey hair wearing three quarter lengths so many man and woman wearing khaki like they're about to go on an African safari or some shit you go into Portugal do you get me you do not need to be wearing khaki I was flying on EasyJet and everybody giving EasyJet an easy ride do you know what I'm saying I actually respect Ryanair more than EasyJet because at least Ryanair is honest about the fact that they don't give a fuck about you or your safety or your family I'm not even going to talk about Ryanair everybody know Ryanair make the Megabus look like an attractive international travelling solution Ryanair is a Megabus at 90,000 feet flying through space into the unknown these fucking speedy borders man I swear down when the announcement come for the speedy border speedy borders you may board the plane they pull out their boarding pass like a fucking sword charging up there like they're gonna strike man and when I hear that speedy boarding announcement I make the point of sitting down and closing my fucking eyes you get me don't you speedy boarders understand it's more stressful going on a plane first than it is to wait until everybody on that plane and then you walk on it you're a prick speedy border and I swear down these speedy borders all look the same you get they all got that inflatable sausage round in there they got that fucking eye patch they got noise cancellation headphone they looking like crank seem like flying is that much of a trauma to these fucking pussies that they gotta wear a fucking sausage round their neck the whole way we ain't going to Peru do you get me we flying to Spain and I was checking out the brochure for EasyJet they're selling Sonic the Hedgehog for £25 two models of EasyJet aircraft for £10 Mr. Bump what? why Mr. Bump do you get me? of all the Mr. Men why Mr. Bump? arguably Mr. Bump is the best Mr. Man but why the silly him do you get me over any other one? they got a snack solution pick up a healthy juice when buying this completing the perfect snack pack hula hoop Nutella Kinder Egg what? Dole Fruit in Juice Cheese Dipper and Safari Mini Cookie I don't see no nutrition in there for a child you get me if you want to make some fucking money sell parachutes in there why are there no parachutes on these flights why are you putting life jackets under the seat of an aeroplane you know what I'm saying I understand you putting life jackets under the seat if we were traveling on the sea in a fucking boat but we 30,000 feet in the sky and you're giving man life jackets that's like if you were on a fucking cruise liner and that shit hit an iceberg and you're going down there and they say under your seat you'll find a fucking parachute you'll be like fuck you you give a man the wrong fucking safety equipment for this vessel of transportation you get me take out that life jacket and put in a parachute easy jet and all you airlines take that shit down to a normal height open the door all man jump out and live another day take my little cousin out for his annual birthday treat because I'm the only one in the family and they'll be working on a Wednesday so I thought he'd taken down London Zoo you get me I wanted them naive people